Hi everybody, this is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is Oscar Sinclair. It is May 11th, 2020. It is a Monday. So, uh, we are in the end of the year, which means a couple things. First, our congregation's annual meeting, or our spring meeting, I should say, uh, is this Sunday, May 17th. It'll be at 11 o'clock on Zoom. Uh, if you are a member or a friend, uh, the link to that um, business meeting will be in your uh, in your e-blast this week. <coughs> Excuse me. The other thing that is similar um, is that every year our association, the Unitarian Association that we are a part of as a congregation, holds a general assembly in late June. And this General Assembly serves three pretty distinct purposes. The first is that it's the business meeting of our National Association, where we do things like elect a new moderator who chairs the National Board of the UUA, or adopt resolutions and, and do the business aspects of running a, a denomination. It's also the time where we do reports out uh, from the association and hold big annual events. Um, Things like the annual report from the president of the association, Susan Frederick Gray, or the service of the living tradition, or the Ware lecture, which is a keynote address uh, distinctly given by somebody who is not from our own tradition. And then third, it's a time for affinity groups within the association to gather with each other and have their annual events. So any number of people can go every year to General Assembly. But because we are a democratic institution, congregations get voting delegates proportional to their size. We at Lincoln have six delegates elected from the congregation. In addition to those six delegates, ministers, ministers emeritus, and religious educators are delegates by office. So we, we are delegates, but we don't count towards the, the congregation six. If this is ever a thing that you've thought about, about doing, an event that you've thought about attending, uh, now's the time to try it out. The UUA decided oh, a couple of weeks ago now um, that given the, the public health situation in Providence where we were going to hold the assembly this year, that we are instead going to have a fully online general assembly. So what this means is registration is quite a bit cheaper, you don't have to travel, and you can do pretty much full participation uh, from your homes. That's always been the case as an option for the last decade or so, um, but this year, everybody's going to be doing it. So we don't know exactly what that's going to look like yet, just in the same way that we don't know exactly what's going to happen at our annual meeting at the congregation, but it is going to be a historic event in the history of our association. So if you want to be a part of it, and if in particular you want to be a voting delegate, this part's important. The board of the Unitarian Church of Lincoln is meeting tomorrow night, Tuesday night, and one of the things on their agenda is choosing delegates to General Assembly. So if you have not already put in your name, or you don't know for sure if you've put in your name, or you've been thinking about it and now have decided you want to do it, please email me or the president of our congregation, and we will get your name on the list for the board's consideration tomorrow night. Until then, have a lovely Monday. Uh, enjoy the, I don't know, Nebraska weather in May, which is either winter or summer, I guess. Um, and I will see you tomorrow.